Hello and welcome back to Storytime with the Shapiro family. Tonight, Bridget continues Grimm's Fairy Tales. We hope you enjoy it. The Queen Bee Two king's sons once went out in search of adventures and fell into a wild, disorderly way of living so that they never came home again. The youngest, who was called Simpleton. Simpleton, really? <laughs> Wow, okay. <clears throat> Set out to seek his brothers. When at length he found them, they mocked him for thinking that he, with his simplicity, could get through the world, when they too could not make their way, and yet were so much cleverer. They all three traveled away together and came to an anthill. The two elder wanted to destroy it, to see the little ants creeping about in their terror, carrying their eggs away. But Simpleton said, Leave the creatures in peace. I will not allow you to disturb them. Then they went farther and came to a lake on which a great number of ducks were swimming. The two brothers wanted to catch a couple and roast them, but Simpleton would not permit it and said, Leave the creatures in peace. I will not suffer you to kill them. At length they came to a bee's nest, in which there was so much honey that it ran out of the trunk of the tree where it was. The two wanted to make a fire under the tree and suffocate the bees in order to take away the honey, but Simpleton again stopped them and said, Leave the creatures in peace. I will not allow you to burn them. At last, the two brothers arrived at a castle where stone horses were standing in the stables, and no human being was to be seen. They went through all the halls until they came to a door in which were three locks. In the middle of the door, there was a little pane, through which they could see into the room. There they saw a little gray man sitting at a table. They called him once twice, but he did not hear. Then they called him for the third time, when he got up, opened the locks, and came out. He said nothing but led them to a handsomely spread table, and when they had eaten and drunk, he took each of them to a bedroom. Next morning, the little gray man came to the eldest, beckoned to him, and conducted him to a stone table, on which were inscribed three tasks, by the doing of which the castle could be delivered. The first was that in the forest, beneath the moss, lay the princess's pearls, a thousand in number, which must be picked up, and if, by sunset, one single pearl was wanting, he who had looked for them would be turned to stone." The eldest went thither and sought the whole day, but when it came to an end, he had found only one hundred, and what was written on the table came to pass. He was changed into stone. Next day, the second brother undertook the adventure. It did not, however, fare much better with him than with the eldest. He did not find more than two hundred pearls, and was changed to stone. At last, the turn came to Simpleton, who sought in the moss, but it was so hard to find the pearls, and he got on so slowly that he seated himself on a stone and wept. And while he was thus sitting, the king of the ants, whose life he had once saved, came with five thousand ants, and before long the little creatures had got all the pearls together and laid them in a heap. The second task was to fetch out of the lake the key of the king's daughter's bedchamber. When Simpleton came to the lake, the ducks which he had saved swam up to him, dived down, and brought the key out of the water. But the third task was the most difficult. From amongst the three sleeping daughters of the king, the youngest and dearest was to be sought out. 
They resembled each other exactly, and were only to be distinguished by their having eaten different sweetmeats before they fell asleep. The eldest, a bit of sugar, the second, a little syrup, and the youngest, a spoonful of honey. Then the queen of the bees, which Simpleton had protected from the fire, came and tasted the lips of all three. At last she remained sitting on the mouth which had eaten honey, and thus the king's son recognized the right princess. Then the enchantment was at an end. Everything was released from sleep, and those who had been turned to stone received once more their natural forms. Simpleton married the youngest and sweetest princess, and, after her father's death, became king, while his two brothers received the two other sisters. Thank you for joining us, and join us next episode for another Grimm's Fairy Tale. Good night.